All right, now that we got the spin jump, let's go and free the punies. But first, let's get a couple star pieces while we're in here. Back on up. Want to say one's right here. Yep, right there. Back up to the cage room. There's one in Flory's house, too. We won't be getting that until after the chapters are done with. There's a badge in our house too that we can get. I could have gotten the badge earlier, but it's really useless. So I didn't bother. We'll just get it on the revisit. There we go. Now let's go get our peonies. And now we can also get rid of those panels that were in our way earlier. We're going to need those to get the peonies through. So, butt stomp here. I said butt stomp here. Really? Thank you. For fuck's sake. Guess it's not close enough. There we are. And now they're free. Despite the panel being fake, they're still drawn to that. Well, then again, I, it is, you know, just, just the orb that they're really attracted to. Whatever. You're going to need to do this a few times. Let's head on down. Everybody's here and accounted for. Go ahead and stick the orb here. down there. I think everybody should be down here. Yep. Now we got a couple more enemies to deal with while we're down here. And thankfully with the jump upgrade, Mario's base damage on jumps just went up. So now he's as strong as Goombella, essentially. And uh, speaking of which, that actually just reminded me. I'm going to go ahead and take off multi-bounce. And put on charge right away. 
because we're going to need that coming up in a bit here. Yay, it's coin, singular coin, hooray. Alright, hop on across. Don't worry about the peonies. Just head on up here. Make sure you got coops out as well. Just hold it. Now before we head back down, come back behind the stairs for a free dizzy dial. Open the chest here for a free badge. And head back down. Just walk on across. Don't worry about the punies drowning by the way, they can't. Your partner can, however. You need every single peony for this next part. So make sure you don't lose anybody. Shake one of these bushes down here for a free mushroom. I think it's this one. Nope. There we go. Go ahead and save. Damn it, of course that happened. Now I gotta go back. Alright, let's get the stragglers. Ridiculous, dude. Stupid punies. There, you need every single one of them for this. And of course, Crump being Crump. Tries to make a getaway with it. Let's put a stop to that, shall we? Got a mandatory fight here with these douchebags. Don't worry about the time limit. As long as you took everybody out, you'll have more than enough time to get back. Bonk. Bonk. Shake that for a star piece. And uh, this is the door in that big area with the hidden shop from earlier.
I'm gonna go ahead and sell the Dizzy Dial now. That's how much extra time we have. Alright, now let's get a move on. Go ahead and save. By the way, if you want to pause that at all, you can either save or, well, open the menus. Make sure you have the charge badge equipped at this point as well. And if you don't have the quick change on, make sure you got Goombella out. Bus stop flurry. Get all your puny friends across. I'm surprised that a bubble can fit Puniper's fat ass. Now we shall save. More than enough time to spare. Magnus von Grapple. This is more or less what the boss fights for the rest of the game are going to look like. That's it. Not too difficult at all to get the timing down for the super guards. Whoopsie. I'm going to see really quick how much a power bounce costs right now. Alright, 2 up so I can do this a few more times. Oops, again. And charge. Alright, time to die.
That is how easy the bosses are going to be for the rest of the game. And furthermore, that's really the only, like, that's why you only need to upgrade BP. Because you can get away with shit like that. Alright, well anyhow, that's going to wrap it up for chapter 2. We're going to go ahead and call it right here for now, and when we come back, we'll do our next Peach segment. Alright, see you guys next part.